against so we'll leave that story. We're taking you live to Canberra now. The Acting Prime Minister, Richard Miles, is holding a news conference. The government has placed an emphasis and a premium on continuity. And so to that end, the government has asked the Chief of the Defence Force, General Angus Campbell, and the Vice Chief of the Defence Force, uh, Vice Admiral David Johnston, to extend their term of service for two years. Uh, and I should note, sadly, uh, Admiral Johnston is not with us here today because he has tested positive for COVID. Uh, I've also asked the CDF to extend the term of the Chief of Joint Operations, Lieutenant General Greg Bilton, for the same period. It is fair to say that this was not the initial thought of defence. And I only say that in as much as we are really mindful of the size of the ask that we are making on these three individuals. These are really big jobs. And to accept the burden of responsibility of doing those jobs for an additional two years is a very significant undertaking. Uh, but I'm really happy to say that each of them has enthusiastically uh, accepted our request. Uh, and we are deeply grateful for their service. Today, we are announcing three new chiefs of our services. Uh, Rear, Admiral, uh, Rear Admiral Mark Hammond is the new Chief of Navy and will be promoted to Vice Admiral. Uh, Admiral Hammond has most recently been the Australian Fleet Commander. Uh, Admiral Hammond is a submariner uh, and is a graduate of the Australian Defence Force Academy and will be the first graduate of ADFA to become a service chief. Uh, Major General Simon Stewart uh, is the new Chief of Army uh, and will be promoted to Lieutenant General. Uh, General Stewart has most recently been the Head of Land Capability. Uh, but General Stewart is a rare career because he joined the Army as a soldier and to rise from that position to being the Chief of Army is really one of the great stories of the Australian Defence Force. And uh, the new Chief of Air Force is Air Vice Marshal Rob Chipman, who will be promoted to Air Marshal. Uh, Air Marshal Chipman has been most recently the head of military strategic commitments, but has spent most of his career as a fighter pilot flying F-18s. Together, these three individuals represent the finest qualities of the Australian Defence Force. I want to take this opportunity to thank the three outgoing chiefs, uh, Vice Admiral Mike Noonan, Lieutenant General Rick Burr uh, and uh, Air Marshal Mel Hupfield. Uh, those three have given tremendous service during the entirety of their careers and most particularly in the last four years as the head of their services. This team is leading the Australian Defence Force at a time when our nation faces great challenges. But you could not want for a better group of people to meet this moment. Now, I might ask uh, the Chief of the Defence Force to make a few comments. Uh, thank you, Minister. <clears throat> I'd just like to briefly say, on behalf of my colleagues and I, it's an extraordinary privilege and honour uh, to serve and lead in the Australian Defence Force. Uh, we'll work together to do our very best uh, to see the defence of this nation and the development of the force and its people. Thank you.